So today's question comes from YouTube subscriber and my good friend Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Today she asks, how do you stay motivated? And this is a question that I think everybody wrestles with in one way or another. Sometimes it's easy to see where we're not versus where we are. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the gulf between who we are right now and who we want to be at some point in the future. Sometimes it's easy to see the distance between us and the big goal. And having a big goal, having some kind of grand vision is really important. Would that we could all see the things that we're doing right now, talking about, thinking about, working on, would that we could see those things as being connected to some big objective. I mean, I think that's a definition of prosperity that I can get behind. Uh, more than any kind of stuff you have or other people's opinion of you, you prosper to the degree that you can connect what you're doing and saying and thinking about right now with something bigger than you. When you're on that kind of road, that is the road, not just to prosperity, but the road of prosperity. But it is about a road. The goal is to keep moving. We're not trying to get somewhere where we can then stop. Let me put that another way. When you get to a horizon, that's beautiful, but you're gonna see another horizon. And that's what you want. Let me put that another, another way. Tomorrow is the result of every moment leading up to that. So it's beautiful to think about tomorrow, but the only way to get to a healthy tomorrow is to have right now be healthy. So it's beautiful to think about then, but now really deserves your attention. Let me put that another, another, another way. If you're gonna run a marathon, it doesn't matter if you can see the finish line. In fact, that's kind of the point, isn't it? All you need to be able to see is the start. The finish line will take care of itself. All you need to worry about is taking one step in a healthy direction. So make yourself a list of small steps that you can do right now. I have a list on my phone that I consult all the time, but write it on a piece of paper. Do something like that where you can carry it with you. And whenever I have a free minute or two, when I'm waiting for my order at a restaurant or when I'm waiting for a phone call, or when I just have a minute, I'll look at my list and find something that I can do that's gonna get me closer to where I wanna be. Sometimes it's a silly thing, but it doesn't matter. Do one thing at least every day. And I find that when I give myself to that, I start to build up momentum. If you wanna get better at giving yourself to your goals, start giving yourself to your goals and you'll build it like a muscle. You'll get better and faster at it. That's what I'm finding. The more I do little things to get towards my goal, the more real that goal feels. And along the way, here's what I want you to do. Take that vision that you have, that big idea that you have, and explain it to somebody you care about every day. That person can be anybody, some kind of a partner in your life, a, a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a parent, a child, a coworker, somebody that you respect. Find a mentor. If you can't find a person, write it in a journal every day. Better yet, come find me. I want to hear about it. Find me on Facebook or whatever. However you do it, find some way to explain your vision every single day. And along the way, edit it, refine it, because every day you're gonna be a little bit smarter and every day the universe is gonna find a way to prove that it has a better idea. So keep on your toes, stay flexible about it. Edit and revise that vision every day and it will help you zero in on some small thing that you can do right now to get you closer to where you wanna be. And along the way, you know what? It's okay to be frustrated sometimes. Let me put it this way. The absolute worst day of knowing that you were meant for bigger things but not being sure what to do about it is 100% better than the best day of stagnation and just that feeling of, I don't know why I'm sad and frustrated. The pull you feel, call it frustration, call it passion, call it yearning, that pull that you feel doesn't even come from you anyway. It's the universe calling you. The pull you feel is a gravity that comes from inside the universe wants you to grow, wants you to love and be loved. You've got bigger things to do. And so the fact that you feel that pull is a guarantee that you're already on the right track. Just keep up with it. Thanks for doing this with me. I believe that it makes all the difference in the world. So thanks for your questions. Please keep sending in the questions. Thanks for subscribing to the videos. Please keep doing that as well. And thanks for telling your friends about these movies. I'm just getting started. Take care of each other.